I've been traveling for 77 days on my elephant and I finally reached the jungle in between where I am and where Andre's house is. Um, unfortunately, my elephant has died standing up with his eyes open um, and he's unable to move because he's dead now. Um, but I have to make my way to Andre's house and to do that I must travel through this vast jungle. Um, it's been an uncomfortable journey riding this elephant with my controls here. Um, obviously he's dead so it's not working anymore. Um, I've used all my supplies and the vast sun is burning the top of my head. Um, but yeah, it's time to survive. Oh, out of game mode. And oh, I've actually got barely any hunger. That's not very good. That's not a good start actually. I was intending to start this. Um, with fresh hunger and health but I basically wanted to create a very laid-back series where I can just hop into Minecraft occasionally and play um, without any um, stress without any um, fighting or pressure of parkour etc um, it will be survival I need to try and survive it's not very good though starting with zero hunger um, I'm gonna have to try and find some food from somewhere maybe there'll be some animals outside the jungle um, I'm gonna do this Bear grill style where he um, teaches people how to survive in the wild such as drinking their own urine through a sock and things like that I need some food if I die now I'm gonna be really really angry really angry because it took me hours there we go I've set my home it took me hours to find this jungle I'm in the Zerain Gaming server. If you haven't been on it yet, the IP will be in the description below. Go check it out because it's got some awesome worlds, worlds and some awesome players who um, play regularly. Um, often, I should say. Right, I'm going to eat some of this food because otherwise I'm in trouble. I can't cook here. Is there any more cows? So, it's actually a fail from the start of the episode. Oh, here's a more. more, more. Although I can't hit him. I'm going to have to free the cow. Come on, cow. Did it give no meat? Ah, it gave some. Right, there we go. So anyway, this is just a casual series that I wanted to do to see how far I could get in the jungle um, to hopefully eventually reach Andre's house. Um, I know he's out there somewhere. I just don't know where. Um, maybe I'll find him along the way. Um, but if you are on the server and you're thinking, oh, if he's playing on the server, maybe I'll be able to find him. You won't be able to. You won't be able to. So I'm starting with literally nothing. I need to, because it's going to get night time soon, I need to kind of get some wood and create a shelter. As Bear Grylls would say, um, you need to protect yourself from the elements, the rain, the wind, 
and oh look people are assuming I'm recording that's not good unless they're recording as well and the animals there's gonna be creepers there's gonna be cows there's gonna be zombies and skeletons Bear Grylls never had to put up with any of that so I technically think it's gonna be harder for me than it ever was for Bear Grylls Bear Grylls, for those of you who don't know, is a survival expert. He's uh, extremely posh and he goes out into the jungles, etc., and puts leeches on his skin. Right, so I've got some wood. I can make a bed now, actually, if I make a crafting table. What I think I'll do, I'll travel a bit further in get some more wood and then try and settle down now I I did actually play in the jungle a while ago um, well a couple of months ago and I found it quite difficult and it was harder than I thought and the reason why was because when it becomes night time you'll tend to find a lot of creepers spawning in the jungle and you can't see them because they just look exactly the same as a lot of the surroundings. So you'll be hopping over leaves and bushes and stuff and suddenly this creeper will just jump out and blow you up and it was hard. Eventually I made a kind of house up in the trees with walkways and stuff and I was always scared to uh, go down below. So you could call me a bit of a wimp but I just enjoy sometimes I have these kind of stages where I just want to enter Minecraft and play by myself without any interruptions or crap like that right so there's some water here although it's kind of going out of the jungle I need to go deeper big this jungle actually is. Well, there's some nice water here. Let's maybe head over here and make a camp. Well, there's some mushrooms over there. What I think I'll do is I'll make a little camp here by the water. Maybe if I can kill some spiders at night I can then fish. Right, let's try. If I clear some of this bush. Now, Bear Grylls would use some of this bush for camouflage. So, in the spirit of Bear Grylls, I'm going to uh, keep some of the bush there and eventually try to get some shears to put bush over my little house right, let's get some seeds, maybe I could even make a farm here right so if I get some dirt it's a shame I can't, if I dig one more in Tell you what I do. I'll keep that there, like that, and I'll build one or a couple of blocks down, just to survive the first night. Hello, Harry. Though I hope people don't think I'm rude because I'm not replying. Right, I need to. Uh, need to really concentrate now because it's starting to get dark um, if I do that I need some more dirt there we go like that 
Now hopefully nothing comes in. If I put a block there temporarily, now it's going to get dark, that's the problem. I really need some stone to make a generator to burn wood to create some charcoal. If I can find a piece of stone somewhere. Let's try and dig in here a bit. Maybe I don't really want to create a hole in case a creeper falls through the roof. Ah, here we go. Right, so if I put my table down and then create a pick. like so, get some stone because it's not helpful being in pitch black is it? like so right let's try and light this place up a bit now as most of you know I'm not very experienced in crafting and things like that so let's try and make just some charcoal at least it's a bit brighter now so if I delete that bit then I only need there's my stairs so far that's all I need to get up at the moment right I've got some charcoal I can create some torches so if I put that there perfect now I want to keep some of the wood Is there anything else I can smell? Not really. Let's make a bed. Managed to make a bed on the first night. I'm impressed. Right, let's put some torches in here. Right. Now, I think I'm going to be brave and attempt to actually go out and try and fight some monsters. This could be a huge mistake. Bear Grylls, he wouldn't go out at night because he's sensible. But Danny, Rambo Dan, I'm going to risk it. Let's face it, Andre's waiting for me at the other side of the jungle and I don't have time to hang about. If I put all my important stuff in there, keep that and I'll keep those let's put the bed down where can I put it there wow this really is a small house now this is risky because I believe I'm not sure what difficulty the uh, servers on but as you can see at night time it really isn't Oh, you can't even put lights on the bush. It really isn't a safe place to be because creepers can hide anywhere. Let's get my sword out. There's an enderman over there. And the problem is, if you fall down a hole and there's a creeper beside you, and he falls in it with you, you're doomed. There's some animals over there, I might go for those cows actually. And then head back to the uh, head back to the shelter. Right, I'm going for those cows. Hopefully there's not any mobs around her. I can't believe 
believe it. No meat. Unless it's underneath the bush. Ah, there we go. That's crazy. Why does it fall under the bush for? I can hear another cow. Where is he? Oh, he's over there. Massive great big gorge. Maybe there'll be some resources and stuff down there. If I can find some diamond. I never find the diamond. That's one thing that really annoys me when I play with Andre. I never find diamond. He's kind of got this sixth sense. Which um, detects it. And he always finds it before me. Occasionally I find the odd one. There's more jungle over there. There's a massive tree up there. Perhaps I could create a, ma a house or something up there. I've only seen one creeper. I think there's a skeleton over there. Now maybe instead of rushing through the jungle I should actually set up a kind of small little camp in the centre of it create a farm where did my house go? here it is here's my house create a farm, gather some resources mine for some iron, get some iron armour and then once I'm fully packed up and loaded I can then make a move because at the moment my hunger is going down quickly I've got some coal there we go right I think I'm going to leave this here if you've got any ideas on what you'd like me to do next, be sure to comment in the comment section below. I'm going to do this series um, video by video. Normally we record for a, an hour or two at a time. I'm going to try and record this episode by episode, kind of. So that means I can read your feedback um, and look at what you guys think is needed and if you play in the server and you'd like to join for one episode then perhaps um, you know I could f get some trusted p people to come and join um, we could create a little jungle village the, the main reason I wanted to create this series is firstly to improve my minecraft skills because a lot of the time I rely on Andre for example food and if I say oh we need some wood he'll go and get the wood or oh how do I create a uh, cobblestone generator and he'll tell me you know firstly to improve my skills secondly because I haven't really spent too much time in a minecraft jungle yet and I think they're kinda cool you know, I'd like to create another tree house and stuff. And sec uh, thirdly, or is it secondly? Thirdly, um, because I want to promote the server a bit more. I think it's a great server. It has no lag. It's got a lot of slots, about 80, I think. Um, it's got a great community on here. Uh, if you do come and join and you're unsure on what to do or where to build just type in the chat that you're new and you'd like to uh, play with some people and I'm pretty sure people will reply saying hey come and join me in my little camp um, but anyway I'm gonna leave this episode here and if you have any ideas or feedback be sure to comment below or if you'd like to come and join me on my jungle journey comment below also and
feel free to give this video a likes up, a thumbs up, sorry, if you like it.